Hey guys, Kid Guru here. Well, uh, in other videos, older videos, I've talked about uh, when customized, and that's a site that pretty much gives you customization icons, packages, a community of you know members who upload content uh, for add-ons for software made by Stardock. And Stardock is a really, really great company. They make software that either has free versions or paid versions, and they have like you know really great software that costs money. So you know, and they're a legit company. So if you have like 20 bucks laying around and you're looking into good software customization or whatever it may be. Uh, I would really look into Stardock. They have great software like here, Object Dock. This is a free version of Object Dock, and as you see here, it's pretty much a dock uh, thing that you can use to organize your icons, etc. Shortcuts for your, you know, Windows, and this works on Windows XP and Vista, and you know, it's similar to the Mac type of uh, dock, but you can move it around as well, move it left, right, up, down, wherever you want to put it on your screen. And it has a lot of se great settings in it. And today, um, uh, I'm gonna be just well. First off, I'm gonna be saying that I'm gonna have a lot of tutorials now on different uh, wooden customized software or startup software, including Object Dock, Boot Skin, all these other software that they make. They make great, great software. And uh, I just downloaded a Notepad.zip here, and I'm gonna show you how to uh, install. I mean, install and get uh, your own custom back backgrounds for your uh, your. Actually, I should say. Uh, your own dock backgrounds or icons all off when customized it's, and this is the official uh, home for skins wallpapers themes and stuff for all the software so first off hit over to stardock.com if you haven't installed uh, object dock or you can just go to when customize and go to gallery when customize.com head over to gallery and then it's going to show you the list of software that stardock has made right here to the right side and you see it goes down and they even have the Maxton browser. So if you just click Object Dock, and you can even download it from here. If some, like I said, some have a purchase version, some have like a advanced version, some have a free version. So like, just go to Object Dock website and download the free version. It's not a trial or anything. Now you just want to look. You can look through all the, you know, I see. There's icon. They have icons for you to download. They have dock packages, I mean I icon packages, they have dock settings and I just downloaded a notepad one and I placed it in uh, this folder right here so let me just show you where I put it now once you install it usually it's a, if it's a dot zip or a dot uh, dock zip usually for the most part it should automatically unzip into the folder it should be in meaning it should be in the folder most likely if it's a background it'll be placed in the folder uh, so you can access it from the ob object dock uh, profile like I just installed this zooed one and wherever wherever they may be usually it's in your my computer local C disk program files wherever you put it in the beginning but I have mine moved over so most likely you'll have something like star dock and you'll have object dock you'll have your stuff on there now mine's not there though so if it doesn't unzip uh, like let's say you download a background and it, you can't find it within the settings if you go to settings and you don't see it within that list that means it's not placed in the right file so you just want to find it and then grab it and simply drag and drop now mine is actually located in my documents so let me head over to my documents here uh, star doc and as you see here if I, it should it'll be the one labeled object doc library and then you'll have all of these right here now if you're having a background just take the background folder and drag it and drop it in here basically all you need is the PNG files really in the I and I files and um, so that's that's a custom one that, that was uh, installed and this one automatically zipped into here but if you don't have it I'm gonna show you how to, if it doesn't automatically zip into the right folder I'm gonna show you how to manually take it over there so I installed mine into the folders over here which is the start the actual start off folder but I didn't put it in my like I moved my original uh library folder off to my documents on accident so it's always been there so I, I pulled or is it it's under bundled images miscellaneous icons all of these images right here some uh, I want to move these over so I'm gonna go I'm gonna just take this and uh, I'm just gonna say copy to or actually I'm just gonna copy all the miscellaneous icons and you go all the way back to wherever your f object doc library is. Now, for the most part, when you install it, it should be right in the local C, but mine just moved. And we can go to Star Doc and uh, click on the object doc library. And now I have nothing in here, but now I'm going to paste this folder right here. 
I don't need that. I can just delete that other folder right there. And I have the miscellaneous icons all right here. So now, object doc settings should read it because it's actually in the actual folder. So if I go to a themes, go to image library, and I find miscellaneous icons, it should see them all right there. And that's the icon I downloaded recently for Notepad. So I'm just gonna click on that, and it's gonna show it right there. So now I can set my icons to Notepad if I want to. So hey guys, that's how you install a. You can do that with an icon, a background, whatever. Just you just have to have it in the right folder. So yeah, guys, that's how you do it. Anyways, uh, I'll be going more in depth of other tutorials within Object Doc. That's just how you get your own custom uh, icons or background make sure it's in the right folder again and here you can get all your stuff when customized.com I'll leave all the links in the video description guys thanks for watching